previously on Living Off Grid. and good morning from where I'm at or what time of day it is right now. It's morning. So whatever time of day it is for you guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good late afternoon. I just hope that everyone is just smiling and being grateful for their lives and having a wonderful day. It was one of those nights where I didn't get to sleep till like 4.30. I'm not even really tired. I think what happened was yesterday I had pretty strong cup of coffee and I'm not big into coffee. I'm not a big coffee person because of this situation where it gives me way too much energy and I didn't work out yesterday like I normally do. So I don't think I like burned off that energy from that coffee that I had in the morning yesterday. So I think it's going to be a nap kind of day. I might take a nap later today, but there's just so much other stuff to do. Because Jake and I are heading out of town tomorrow. Jake is surprising me with something for my birthday tomorrow. I'm not really exactly too sure. I think it might be a hiking trip, which I'm really excited about. Jake and I haven't gone hiking in a while because we've just been so busy with, you know, building this amazing yurt. (laughs) So it'll be really nice to kind of get away and connect with each other and that doesn't like involve building and construction and um clearing and all that so I think that would be much needed for both of us and on top of that it's not just a trip for my birthday uh it's also Jake and I's two-year anniversary and we're also picking up flooring wood burning stove possibly a new truck other furniture for the house or for the yurt So it's going to be a big, fun-packed, epic weekend. And of course, I'm going to bring you guys with us and vlog the whole thing and show you guys our new wood-burning stove that we're possibly getting. Um, We're getting it from Facebook Marketplace, which is such a wonderful platform. I'm not really huge into Facebook, but the Marketplace is really cool because it's like a giant yard sale that everyone's selling fun, cool, used stuff, so... Yay! Yeah, let's get on with the day. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention it rained like crazy hard last night. Like crazy. It was really beautiful to hear the sound on the top of the yurt top cover, but it was so loud. So that's probably another reason why I couldn't fall asleep. I don't know, it was so loud. Like, I'm just not used to, I love rain hitting under the roof, but this is a different kind of sound because it's hitting like a fabric canvas yurt top cover. (laughs) Okay, anyway.
Okay, so it's starting to rain a little, so I have to put you inside. Sorry. Well, with the help of Jake, we moved the kitchen over here, which is going to be super convenient for us because the front door is right there and we don't have to walk way over there. It's right here, which is super nice. So I'm starving. I worked up quite the appetite. So I'm eating these date balls that I made super quick. They have coconut, cacao powder, cinnamon, flax seed oil, and of course some dates and hemp seed oil. Pretty good. All right. <laughs> I just whipped it up really quick. And I'm also gonna make something else, which I'm really excited about, because it looks really good. So here is the basket of goodies. We got this fresh baked bread. I'm gonna put some cream cheese on it. Cut up some of these delicious looking heirloom tomatoes. And then I got some hummus. Triscuits and some other good stuff in there. And I just realized that I forgot a plate. I forgot salt and pepper, but oh well, that's okay. I'm starving, I'm gonna eat it anyway. And then I also just realized that I forgot a cup because I was gonna make some tea and I forgot my tea cup. So I'm just gonna have to drink my tea out of this. <laughs> oh well. <laughs>
Thanks for lunch. Oh, it's tricky to eat. I'm good though. I'm That's very, really good. Very fresh. Whoa. <laughs> Why do we only have one plate? I forgot the other one. <laughs> It's good though. It's great. Mm. It is raining like crazy outside right now. I'm trying to do a whole video for off grid athlete where I start cutting down trees and show how I'm going to fall these big trees. I just can't get out there. It's just pouring rain. Yeah. At least we got the kitchen moved, which is going to be super convenient and really nice for us. I like your new look. I like about it. No, the new pants, the helmet, you're just all looking snazzy. What should I call you? Lumberjack Jake? Wolverine. Wolverine. Good luck, be safe. Thanks. Alright, so you guys saw me the other day on the vlog here clearing this little section. So all this is clear because I cleared that for a couple days. Let me show you what kind of forest I'm dealing with here. If I walk off the clearing, there's just no trail. This is uh, every square inch of forest is just bushwhacky. Right, there's the yurt and everything you see going this way is going to be the front driveway coming up to the old logging road that's completely overgrown mostly with alber and salmonberry it goes all the way down there and it's kind of framed by the forest on either side so this tree right here that's not too big but it's big enough it's my first practice Testing, testing, one, two, three. Say something. Hello, welcome back to another mail time segment. Mail time. <laughs> <laughs> need a cool jingle. What's been super cool about living off grid and building the yurt is that we've been putting the P.O. box down in the description of our videos and you guys have been sending us incredible gifts. So let's get to today's mail time. What was in our post office box this week? A bunch of goodies. First, we have this lovely envelope. Why don't you do the honors here? Ooh, shirts. Our boat. How are you liking the striker boat? Oh my God, it's the best boat in the world. Like seriously, sips gasoline. Yeah. Like we go to town and back, which is about a 30 minute boat ride each way. And uh, we go at maximum speed for the Tohatsu engine and we probably use like a gallon or two of gas. Yeah, it's been a lifesaver, honestly. You guys should follow Stryker on Instagram. They got a great Instagram page. Check them out, really good British Columbian company. What should we do with these shirts? I'm not too sure. Hmm, three, two, one. Oh. Ooh. Nice, ooh, that looks good on you. What did you say? It looks like you're going to a softball game. <laughs> I'm ready for it, I'm ready for it. <laughs> I used to play a lot of baseball. All right, what else did we get? So this next one I'm really, really excited about. Um, we actually didn't get this in the mail. We got this from a local from the town that's closest to us. So hi, local. <laughs> this person was so sweet and so nice. What did they bring us here? Um, a kombucha scoby. Yeah, so we can make kombucha. 
if you guys are watching, you've never drank kombucha, it's tea that has been fermented. And basically the process is you take any kind of tea and you boil it like you would normally, and then you add some sugar and you add this little culture called a scoby. Yeah. And then after you know a week or two, or less or more, um, you have fermented carbonated tea, which has incredible health benefits. And she had her own scoby. Yeah. She's... It's great for the gut. But yeah, we've been wanting one for so long and she just happened to bring it up and said, oh, I'll bring one in for you guys. And she did. And this jar is also really cool too. Yeah. So really excited to make some videos for you guys of how to make kombucha. Like we're really jacked. So, and she now we have like... a home to do it in, so. Okay, this one I'm super excited about because another local um, brought us like a housewarming gift, I guess you could say. Yeah, sun chokes. AKA Jerusalem artichokes. Yeah. Now we have Vancouver Island sun chokes yeah. from our friends. And three, Whoa. look at that one. That one's purple. Yeah. That's so purple. Three different varieties. This one is called uh, Violette de René. Ooh, that sounds so fancy. And they're so good for wow, you Wow, look at that one. That's so cool. They're already kind of growing little roots and eyes. Yeah, we need to plant these ASAP. And this box I'm really excited about. This came from Steve Rogers, who if you guys have tuned into any of our premieres, you see Steve really being active in the chat. Mm -hmm. So thanks for being everybody that we've been talking to in the chat. Thank you very much. And uh, Steve sent this box. I think it is plants and things of that sort. Okay, so Steve says, hey Jake and Nicole, my girlfriend and I have loved your videos for years. It's awesome watching the next chapters of your lives. Hopefully this gets to you in one piece. Included are kiwi berries, male and female, Utah sweet pomegranate, desert king fig, the legal amount of cannabis seeds because cannabis marijuana is legal now in Canada. So this little box has several varieties of cannabis seeds yeah. that every Canadian can grow four plants of marijuana each and we would love to grow this plant and show you some of the ways that we're gonna be using it here in Canada. So yeah. what are some of the varieties names? They look almost like coriander seeds and each variety is very different. These are mold resistant and should finish late September, early October, except deep chunk, that's a pure indica. Keep up the great work. You two are truly inspirational. Cheers, Steve and Anita. Thank you so much, Steve and Anita. Thank you. This is really thoughtful. Steve did like a bang and packing job and every variety that he talked about on the sheet is in its own little yeah. Ziploc bag with soil. That's really cool. <laughs> so that's the fig. Wow. Can we grow fig here? Yeah, because it's deciduous. It loses I its leaves. Fig. Figs are my favorite. And here's Utah sweet pomegranate, which is also deciduous. And it's already getting its little, its little leaves. Aw, this is such an epic packing job. I love it. Yeah. This is so cool. So here's the male um, hardy kiwi berry. Mm. And here's the female kiwi berry and like I don't know how Steve knew that I have literally been chomping at the bit for like a decade to trellis and vine and grow my own kiwi. Yeah. This is an amazing gift so thank you so much and we cannot wait to start planting these and watching them grow. Like, If you guys want to be included in our mail time segment the P.O. box to send us something is down below. Don't miss the next episode on Living Off Grid. It's like one stage and the water can be really rough, kind of like how it is right now. <laughs> Trying to stay in front of the camera.